Welcome to Electron Online area a, uh, with stick. functions that bound. Oh, let me try this again. Well, Electron Online, in this example, just exponential like functions that bound the area to find. I can't talk anymore. Let me try again. With <clears throat> exponential functions that bound areas for which we need to find. Oh, how come I can't talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't get the words out. Oh yeah, no, that's the way you say it. All right, I'm good. Welcome to Electron Line. Just like in the previous video, we're going to find the area bounded by functions which are exponential, the exponential functions. And here we are, we have y equals e to the x and y equals 1 half e to the 2x. And it's also bounded by the line x equals 1. So this is, I'll put it to the side here, x equals 1. And so in this case, notice that the two functions cross over, which means we're going to have two areas, a1 and a2, which means we're going to have to integrate twice because the da's are going to be different. The da for the first area is going to be y1 minus y2, that's the height of the small area element, times the x for the width. And for the second area, notice since they crossed over, da is going to be y2 minus y1 times dx. So we'll have to do two integrals. So let's try to find the first one, a1. a1 is equal to the integral. Now also, before we can integrate, we need to know where those two lines cross, which means to do that, we have to set both of the functions equal to each other, which means that we set e to the x equals to 1 half e to the 2x. Now if we take the natural log of both sides, the natural log of e to the x is going to be x, and the natural log of what's on the right side will be the natural log of 1 half times e to the 2x, since that's a product, we can write that as the natural log of 1 half plus the natural log of e to the 2x, and the natural log of e to the 2x is equal to 2x. So when we subtract 2x from the other side, we get minus x equals the natural log of 1 half, and then if we take the inverse of both sides, in other words, multiply both sides by negative 1, we get x equals the natural log of 2, which is the x-coordinate of the point where the two lines cross, the two functions cross. And of course, when you plug in the natural log of 2 in the function, you get 2 for the y value. Not that we are going to need that. So the limits for the first integral is going to go from x equals 0 to x equals the natural log of 2. 0, natural log of 2 of dA, and for the first area, dA is y1 minus y2. y1 minus y2 times the width of that area element, which is dx. And y1 is defined as e to the x. So it's always a good idea to mark your functions here so you don't make a mistake transforming into here. So we have a1 is equal to the integral from 0 to the natural log of 2 of y1, which is e to the x, minus y2, which is 1 half e to the 2x times dx. Now here we're going to need the proper differential. We need a 2dx here, so we're going to write this as two separate integrals. So a1 is equal to the integral from 0 to the natural log of 2 of e to the x minus 1 half times, and I'm leaving the space here, the integral from 0 to the natural log of 2 of e to the 2x times dx. And notice I left some space there as well, because now we need to find the proper differential. If we're going to integrate e to the 2x, we're going to need a 2dx, so we need to multiply times 1 half to compensate for that. And now we're ready to integrate both of those integrals. So a1 is equal to, this is easy, e to the x, and here this becomes minus a quarter e to the 2x evaluated from 0 to the natural log of 2. So now let's go ahead and plug in the upper limit and see what we get. So this is equal to e to the natural log of 2 minus a quarter times e to the 2 times the natural log of 2, which is the same as the natural log of 2 squared or the natural log of 4. And then we're going to subtract the lower limit. We get e to the 0 minus a quarter e to the 0. So simplifying that a little bit more, so this gives us, this becomes 2 minus 1 quarter times 4, which is 1, and subtract from that, over here we have e to the 0, which is 1, minus a quarter e to the 0, which is a quarter. So this becomes equal to 1, and minus 3 quarters, see here that's 1 minus a quarter is 3 quarters, minus that, so this is equal to 1 quarter. 
So the area A1 is equal to 1 quarter. Now let's find area 2 is equal to the integral. Now the integral limits are going to go from the natural log of 2 to x equals 1. And the dA now is going to be this dA right here, which is y2 minus y1 times dx. And we'll plug in what those functions are equal to. This is equal to the integral from the natural log of 2 to 1. And y2 is going to be 1 half e to the 2x minus y1, which is e to the x, times dx. And again, we're going to separate those two integrals because we need the proper differential for this one. So this is equal to the first integral, the natural log of 2 to 1. Uh, we could put the 1 half in front, so this is 1 half times e to the 2x times dx. Notice I left some space here, minus the integral from the natural log of 2 to 1 of e to the x dx. That's, of course, an easy integral. But the proper differential on this one, we need a 2dx, which means we also need a 1, quarter, uh, one half here, which of course becomes 1 quarter. So now we're ready to integrate these. So this becomes equal to 1 quarter times e to the 2x minus e to the x evaluated from the natural log of 2 to 1, which is equal to, now when we plug in the upper limit, we get 1 quarter e to the 2 power minus e, now we plug in the lower limit, we get minus the natural log of 2, that would be e to twice the natural log of 2, which is 4 times 1 fourth, which is 1, minus, here we get e to the natural log of 2, which is 2. Simplifying this, we get, this is equal to 1 quarter e squared minus e and that would be a minus 1 times a minus, which is a plus 1. And so this here is the area for the second area element. So here's A1, and there's A2. So now we can go ahead and add those two together. So we have A is equal to A1 plus A2, which is equal to, we got 1 quarter for A1, and we're going to add to that what we found for A2, which is 1 quarter e squared minus e plus 1. So when we add all that together, we get 1 quarter e squared minus e plus 5 over 4. And that would then be the area of both of those segments combined, the area held between the two exponential curves. And that's how it's done. And I think that's actually correct.